Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead code regarding second highest salary and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium and this question has been asked in Amazon as well as Infosys interviews over the past six months. Okay, so let's jump right in. We are given a table called employee with two different columns, ID and salary and the data type being integer. ID is the primary key column for this table. Each row of this table contains information about the salary of an employee. We are asked to write a SQL query to report the second highest salary from the employee table. And if there is no second highest salary, the query should report null, right? Okay, let's go through this example, right? So in this example, what is the second highest salary, right? The highest is 300, the second highest is 200 and 200 should be reported, right? But in this case, like since there is only one salary, obviously it is the highest salary, right? So there is no second highest salary in this case. So we report null in this case, right? So the first thing that we can do is, you know, from these employee tables, right? Try to, you know, rank the salary based on how high they are, right? So basically we can, you know, add a third column here and using a rank function, now there are three ranking functions, right? Row number, rank and dense rank. And here, since we don't want to skip the number, right? If there are uh, two rows which have equal value of salary, right? So we are going to use dense rank function. We can use that to rank that salary, right? From highest to lowest. And then based on that, we can, you know, try to find out the second highest salary and how to you know make sure that this this condition is also fulfilled like we will be looking at it okay so let's start building this query so the first thing is from this table called employee what we are doing is we are you know let's keep both the columns select star and then let's make a third column where we are ranking right so since we are using a window function, so we are writing over and then order by salary in decreasing order. And then we dense rank it, right? So we dense rank and let's alias this as R. Okay. So now once we have this, it is basically going to add. So, okay. So 300, since we are ordering by salary and decreasing order, so 300 is going to be assigned rank one, two, three, right? So let's store this in a common table expression, right? Now, once we have that, so this common table expression has like, which one, which salary is the highest, the second highest, third highest, and it has assigned ranks to it. Now, if the question didn't mention, you know, this thing to take care of this scenario, that is, you know, if there is no second highest salary, you report it null, what would ha we have done? So from this common table expression, wherever your R is equal to two, then that is going to be the second highest salary and you return the salary in that case, right? So from this common table expression where rank is equal to where R is equal to two, you return the salary in that case, right? And here we need to write limit one. Why? Because let's say here we had, you know, ID one salary, hundred ID two, 200, three, 300 and four, 200, right? So there would have been two people or two employees with salary 200, right? So the highest would have been 300. So it would have been assigned rank one and then 200 and 200, it would be assigned rank two, two times, right? So two, two, and then three. Now, when I do this, R is equal to three, both of these salaries will be, you know, reported. So in this case, we are, I, we are going to get two rows of salary, but we don't need that. Like it does not make sense, right? 200 and 200. The second highest salary is 200. We just want one row, right? So that is why what we do will to make sure that such cases are taken care of, we write limit one, right? So keep all those rows where rank is equal to two, that is the second highest salary, but limit one, right? Return only the first one. Okay. Now this is going to take care of this, but how do we take care of this, right? So is null or like 
when it is you know when we don't have a second highest salary we need to report the second highest salary as none right so in that case there is a function in sql called if null right so if null has a has a syntax and understanding that syntax and about this function is very crucial to do to do this question right so if the syntax of if null is like we write if null there is an expression right so there is an expression and there is a specified value right so basically what this if null does is that it evaluates this expression right and if it comes out to be null then it replaces that value with specified value that is when we write select you know return if null and let's say whatever the expression we might have right and that evaluates out to be null then whatever value we have written here it is going to be put in that place if this expression does not evaluate out to be null so whatever value is coming from this expression it is going to be there and this is perfect in our case because you know when we do this right so for this case it works right so it is not going to have any null value so here it is going to select salary from city where rank is equal to 2 limit 1 this is going to be what for this case 200 right so it is not null so 200 is fine and that is what we want but in this case what will happen so here rank is equal to 2 is nothing right because this is going to be assigned rank 1 and there is no rank 2 because there is no second highest salary so what will this do this return null so in that case what will happen we you know want to replace it by whatever the specified value we want and what is the specified value that we want the null value right so basically here this will evaluate out to nothing and then we want to re replace that by the null value right so that is what we write so this is an expression right so whatever we get from this is an expression so let me you know reformat it so that we understand it better so this is this entire thing is the expression let's put this in parenthesis right now what we do is we return if null right so we return if null we put another parenthesis so this entire thing is what the expression and if this evaluates out to be null right then what do we return the specified value is null right so we write none in this case right and then we close the parenthesis and what is the alias of this column second highest salary so we write as second highest salary let me remove this okay so this looks good understand like now you understand right why this is going to take care of both these equations so for this one for this case this is not going to evaluate so this expression is not going to evaluate out to null so obviously whatever is being returned from this is going to be assigned to second highest salary but for this case it is going to be null so it is being replaced by this value right whatever the specified value is and that is what our second highest salary is going to be right null and okay so let me go ahead and run this to see what happens okay so this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to if, see if it passes all the test cases so yep this passes all the test cases and this is how we do it again it was simple but the only thing that we need to keep in mind is how to take care of this second case that has been mentioned in the question that if you know there is no second highest salary then you return null in that case let me know if we can use case when statements because as you remember in all, almost all my videos i say that since there are you know two different cases we can use case when statements let me know in the comment section if you can use case when statements to do this and if you can what will the solution look like will it be more efficient or longer than what i have done here or even if you uh, you know a better way of doing this let me know in the comment section as well and until then, I will see you guys in the next video.